Hello, everybody, and welcome to the definition. Um, we are looking at the, about the middle of page 97 in the workbook here, and we're ready for the last major definition of this chapter. Okay, let's take a minute just to read this together. Okay, so we're going to define something known as the characteristic of a ring. Notation for that is going to be C-H-A-R of R. Okay, and here's the definition of the characteristic of a ring. Okay, it's the least positive integer n such that n x equals 0 for all x and r. Okay, let's talk about that statement for a second here. So when you look at that n x, you might think multiplication. It looks like multiplication of n times x, but remember, this notation in a ring really represents repeated addition. So that n x that you see is like saying, we're going to take n copies of x and write them down and add them all together. And if you add all of those terms together and get zero, that's what that statement is saying. Okay, so just to give you an example of characteristic, we'll, we'll look at some specific examples in a minute, but let's say that I tell you that the characteristic of a ring is five. Okay, what that would be saying is that if you take every element in your ring and you write down five copies of it and add those five copies together, you're going to get zero every single time. Okay, and five is the least number for which that works. Okay, that's what we mean by characteristic. Okay, and then the second sentence says, what if no such in integer exists? What if it's not always possible to find a number that we can add the terms together that many times and get zero? Well, in that case, we're going to call the characteristic of the ring zero. Okay, now the best way to understand this definition is to look at a few examples. All right, so let's page ahead a little bit here. We're going to go to page 100. Okay, and we're going to just see if we can find the characteristic of a couple of rings. Well, in this video, we'll do a couple of these examples together, and then I'll ask you to do the rest of them just for a little bit of practice with this. Okay, so the first ring we'd like to look at is Z4. Okay, and finding the characteristic of a ring is all about investigating the additive order of our elements. So what I'd like to do here is to make a table. Okay, first of the elements x, and then in the second row, we're going to write down the additive order of x. So the number of copies of x that we need to add together to get us back to zero. Okay, and let's see, what are our elements in Z4? We've got four of them. Zero. One, two, and three. And we're just interested in determining, first of all, what the additive orders of those elements are. Okay, so let's start with zero. Okay, well, we just need one copy of zero, and we're already back to the additive identity. So we look at zero, and we notice one times zero is zero, and so its additive order is just one. Okay, the, the order of the identity element is always one. Okay, what about the element one? Okay, how many copies of that would we need to add together in order to get back to the identity? Well, if you think about it, we need to do that. We, we, need, to, we need four copies of it. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. That gives us 4 mod 4 is 0. Okay, and that tells us that 4 times 1 is equal to 0 and confirms that the additive order of 1 is 4. Okay, and then we move on to 2. What would its additive order be? Okay, well, there we need two copies of 2 to add together to get us back to 0. So that tells us that Two times two equals zero, so the additive order of two is just two. And then finally three, you can think about that and convince yourself that we need four copies of three to get us back to zero. Okay, and so its additive order is four. Okay, so what about the characteristic of the ring then? Okay, well the characteristic is the least number, the least number that we that we need the least number of copies of every single element in the ring that when we add all those copies together, we'll get back to zero. If you think about it, four is the lowest number that's going to work for every element, okay? Which means that the characteristic of Z4 is actually four. Okay, and 
in symbols, what we're saying by making that claim is that if you take four copies of every element, okay, in our ring, um, add them together, you're always going to get zero. Okay, I'll let you convince yourself that that works for not just one and three, okay, but also for zero and two. If you if you take four copies of zero and two and add them together, you're also going to get zero. Okay, so there's our characteristic. All right. Let's move down and also do part B, just to conclude this video here. Okay, so what would the characteristic of the ring Z be? Okay, well, question for you. Is it always possible to take an integer and add it to itself enough times to get us back to zero? If you think about it, it usually isn't. Take, take the unity element, for example, one. If you take one and start adding it to itself, one plus one, one plus one plus one, and so on, can you ever add one to itself enough times so that you'll get back to zero in Z? No, you're just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger. And so one actually has infinite additive order. So there are elements in this ring where it's not possible to add it to itself enough times to get back to zero. So what's the characteristic of the ring? According to our definition, it's actually zero. Okay, now that seems strange, doesn't it? It, it sort of illustrates just a, the strange nature of this definition. You kind of want to say the characteristic ought to be infinity because we, have, we, we, can, we can add one to itself as many times as we want to and we can never get back to zero, but for some strange reason, whoever made this definition said, we're gonna call the characteristic zero if there are elements in the ring that have infinite additive order. Just one of those things that kind of mathematical convention that we have to get used to and accept. Okay, so that concludes this video and um, I'm going to leave it to you to just play with the rest of these examples, gives you some more rings, and asks you to do an investigation and see if you can find the characteristic of these rings.